What's up, Big Bear Nation? Welcome back to the homestead. So, we got lucky today. Jason and I were heading off to acupuncture and they're doing some road work close by our house. And Jason hit the brakes and I was like, what's going on? Is there a pilot car or something? He's like, no, I'm going back to talk to those guys. And those guys happen to be a road crew happened to be a road crew that was clearing out some trees and shredding them and turning them into mulch so Jason pulled over went and talked to them and politely asked if they could bring the mulch to our house our house is only about three miles from where they were doing all of the chipping and shredding and everything so it worked out really well for them they also told us that they come in our area a lot so hopefully we'll be getting more as time goes on. So now that Jason's had a chance to come take some of these wood chips and lay them out, I wanted to show you what they look like. It's pretty cool. We got a little bit of a walkway back here. Goes all the way to that back bed. And he's also put a bunch of wood chips down in these beds so that we're ready to start putting uh, topsoil and compost in. Um, so this area right here is gonna be really really nice it's a little uneven right now but i think the more we walk on it and kind of you know push it in a little bit i think it's going to look really nice we put down cardboard so that we have that little bit of a weed barrier and then there's probably about three or four inches of the wood chips on top of the cardboard so hopefully that will and by doing it right now when it's cooler and we haven't had a lot of rain hopefully that will deter the weeds from growing over the fall and the winter. So the other nice thing about having those wood chips is there's an area that we had behind the milking stanchion that falls kind of like at an angle. So whenever we would have rain, that area would get swampy and nasty. And even though it got hot during the summer, it still wasn't completely dried ever. So we took a good portion of the wood chips and we started there first. We went ahead and put those out, evened them out. So this is the area back here now. And if you look, like it looks really nice in here. Um, the chickens come in here and they kind of peck through it and scratch through it. And so they're keeping all of the bugs and stuff to a minimum in here. But the other struggle was keeping Luis's stall fresh. Now we've done straw and we've tried all that. We put a hay bale in last winter with them and it just kept getting nasty. It was hard to kind of keep it clean and keep the, keep the manure out of there. Well, the first thing Jason did was he went in and scooped up everything because we had gone back to bare dirt and during the summertime so that it was a little bit cooler for her during the evenings and jason scooped all of that up and we laid down a pretty thick layer of wood chips and i'll tell you so far it has worked out great so that might be our alternative to using straw because i think that is going to provide a little bit more warmth this winter for her so we'll see how that goes if you look inside Louise's stall, show you what that looks like. She's got a couple of poop piles here and there, but the mulch being on here makes it really easy to grab the pitchfork and pick up those piles. So I'm really digging the idea of using the mulch as opposed to 
the straw. The other reason too is, you know, there was this big thing this past year about hay producers and straw producers using certain pesticides. And, you know, eventually all of this stuff is going to turn into compost and we want to be able to use it to plant. So the wood chips, I think, are a safer option. As they're sitting here, they're composting down and we'll come in eventually, scoop it up and put more on. So we were really lucky scoring these wood chips. I will say this though, um, as much of a blessing as the wood chips were, the bigger blessing was that big orange thing right there. Um, if we had not had that, the wood pile, the wood chip pile would still be heaping. And when I tell you that within a day, that wood chip pile was gone. Um, it made moving all the wood chips around so much easier, so much faster. So if any of you are kind of dealing with the same thing where you have wood chips or, or a compost that you need to move around and you don't have a tractor, and you're thinking about getting one, definitely consider it because we are finding time that we haven't had for over 10 years because we've been able to take this tractor and use it all over the place to where we get things that could have taken us two or three days to do get done in three or four hours. Now, if you value the wood chips and understand just how happy we were about getting these wood chips. I'm sure you'll like this video over here that talks about how to make a hugoculture bed. Um, we kind of show you how to build one from the bottom up and how to be successful with that. Thank you for stopping by the Big Bear Homestead. God bless. Have a nice day.